Hey, what's going on people? This is Hellbent and this is Auto Hotkey GUI mini tutorial number 26. In this one I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to do in order to create a compiled script or an exe with assets added into it, um, such as extra files, uh, perhaps artwork, music, videos, etc, etc. So for this video I'm going to create a little project right from scratch and then go through all the steps all the way up until the point where you're ready to share it with people. Um, I should note that before you watch this I'm going to be creating two virtually identical videos. This video is going to be in the graphical user interface mini tutorial series and then after that I'm going to create a virtually like I said a virtually identical video in the normal auto hotkey mini tutorial series and that's just to make it easier for people who are looking for um, videos on this kind of topic it makes it easier for them to find it because not everyone's going to be looking for uh, this kind of content or this subject within the context of a graphical user interface. So to make it easier for people to find these videos, I'm going to duplicate both of them in both different series. So, so if you if you watch this one, there's no need to watch the other one because they're going to be virtually identical. They're not going to be identical because they're going to be filmed differently, but uh, other than that, they're going to be virtually identical. Okay, so like I said, we're going to create a project and work with it all the way up until the point where I upload it to a site, and then I can send it. I can send that link to other people for them to be able to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new project, and I'm just going to use my desktop, which is very cluttered right now, and I'm going to create a new folder for my project. And I'm just going to call it dummy because as soon as I'm done this, I'm going to be throwing it away. But you'd want to name it whatever you want. Okay, so here's my folder. This is where I'm going to have all my project. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate everything. I'm going to have the script and perhaps some other scripts that I'm working on while I'm playing with, around with things. I'm going to have them in the main folder. And then I'm going to create a subfolder for all the assets that I'm going to be adding to that script. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And I think I could have actually just done up there. Okay, and I'm going to call this um, I'm going to call this Tut Assets. Okay, so now I have a subfolder to put all my artwork, all my music, all my videos, all my other folders that I'm going to be including, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now I need a script, so I'm going to create a new script, new Auto Hotkey script, and I'm going to call this uh, Tut 26. I think it was. Okay, uh, let me actually, because I'm going to probably move this later on. Um, GUI, any tut, number 26. Okay, so here we go. Now all I need to do is write my script. So I'm going to go into edit, pop this up, and get rid of all this stuff up here. First thing I'm going to do is, obviously I'm going to make it so that way I don't have to keep resetting it. So I have my single instance force and then I usually almost always add an emergency exit key. So now if I run into any problems, I can just hit escape and it'll exit out of the script. Okay, so here's my script. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a asset to use for this script. So what I am going to do is I've already gone ahead and created a little picture. So here I have a little picture and I'm just going to save that and I'm going to go to the desktop where I have my dummy script and I'm going to go to my tut assets and put it in there and I'm going to name this um, I'm going to name it press me press me PNG and I'm going to save that to that folder okay so now if I go back to that folder I should have I should have in its assets that press me PNG. Okay, so now that I've added that to my assets folder, what I'm going to do is because I'm the person that is going to be using this, it's going to have to unpack and install all that stuff. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm first going to make it create a folder. So 
when I create this folder, it's in my case right now, it's not actually going to do anything because that folder already exists. But if that folder didn't exist, it's going to create that folder. And that's that asset folder that we had created a second ago. So I'm going to make it so that way it creates this tut assets folder. And because it exists right now on my computer, it's not actually going to do anything with this command every time I run the script. But when the person that gets it runs it, if that tut assets uh, folder doesn't exist, it's going to create it for them. So the way we do that is we just type in file create directory, file create directory, and then I want to set the path to that. So there's a built-in variable that g gathers the path information all the way to wherever the script is and that built-in variable is called a script directory so I'm gonna go ahead and use that variable so inside of percent marks I'm gonna do a script directory so it's gonna gather all the information uh, it's gonna get the path to the current script and I don't do very well when I type and talk at the same time. Okay, so I have that built-in variable, so it's gonna get all the information to the path, so wherever that, that folder, the main folder where my script is, it's gonna get that information. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to give the path or give the name of the uh, subfolder that I wanna create, which I believe I called it tut assets. Okay, so if because that folder already exists in my case right now, it's not going to do anything with this command here. But if, like I said, if it doesn't exist yet, it's going to create that assets folder. And that's going to come into play when the person runs my exe later on. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the working directory of this script to that, that folder. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, set working directory set working directory comma and then I'm going to once again use the path to the folder that the script is in so it's this here basically I'm just gonna copy this here how about that because I'm a slow typer it's the exact same information so it's it's the path to the wherever the script is plus the subfolder so this way when I add things to my script it's gonna use this as the the subfolder as the path to use. So now that I have the working directory set, I'm going to go ahead and create my script. So I'm just going to create a very simple GUI. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. I'm just going to add add that image to it and then show it and then that's it. Right? Your script is going to have a lot of other things. You might have buttons, you might have this, you might have that. We don't need to go over all that. You are, you should already know how to do all those kind of things. So I'm just going to do GUI add picture and I'm not even gonna worry about positioning the picture I'm not gonna worry about adding variables labels etc etc I'm just gonna leave all of that blank so all the options I'm gonna leave blank or parameter two and I'm just gonna add that image now I forget what I had called that image so let me look that up I think it was press me PNG okay so it's press me PNG So I'm just going to add that picture and I'm going to let it size itself. But I, I normally like to actually size it myself. I like to make sure everything works properly. So I usually, this is, like I said, we're not going to be making an actual project like this. So I don't have to worry about all that stuff. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to GUI show. and I'm not gonna worry about sizing it I'm gonna let it size itself and I'm just gonna call it I'm gonna call this tut 26 I hope I have the right name for that tut 26 tut 25 yeah tut 26 okay after that just hit on my return and I'll make it so that way it exits I'll just add one last thing the GUI close so that way it's not running in the background Okay, I think we have a script here, so let's go ahead and run that. Now you should create your own image and do follow these steps. 
Okay, so here we go. I have my, my GUI with this, and now I want to share this with somebody else. Okay, so the next step that I need to do is I need to install that that um, PNG when, whenever I compile this script. So that way it'll install it onto the person who runs the the exe later on it'll install all of that information onto their computer and install that file onto their computer so the way we go about doing that is we just type in up here for all of our assets every asset file install and then the first parameter is going to be the source or what I'm going to be installing so this assumes um, a script directory not a working directory so it already knows the script directory that I'm in so what I need to do is add the first thing that I'm going to add in is the name of that subfolder that I'm going to be putting getting this out of so it's tut assets and then the other thing is the file that I'm going to be grabbing which is the press me PNG Okay, so that's the first part of our thing that we're going to be doing. This is what it's going, this is the source that it's going to be grabbing from. And the next thing we need to do is when the person runs the program for the first time, where is it going to go? So this is where it's going to install it to. The, what I'm going to be doing, now there's lots of different ways that you can go about doing these kinds of things. For 99% of you, what I'm doing here is exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so when they run the, the exe whatever folder they put they first run it in so so let's say they download it and then they move it to a folder that they want to run it from right when the first time they run it it's going to grab that information of the working directory so up here as soon as they run the script it sets that working directory to be the script directory so whatever folder they open it in that's going to be the working directory and the uh, subfolder so I'm going to use that built-in variable or, or rather a new built-in variable which is a working directory which is the information that's contained when I when I did that line up above that says set working directory so it's whatever whatever value that's now holding is going to be in this built-in variable and then next is the name of the file so I think I can name this anything so to begin with it was called pressme.png I can probably call it whatever I want afterwards but when they go ahead and try to run the script again if the name's going to be different then when it comes to this line right here if it doesn't line up it's not going to work so I'm going to name it exactly the same way it is on my computer and the way exact way that it is in the script so it's just press me dot png and once again you can do this with uh, different you can do this with text files you can do this with uh, uh, mp3 files mp4 whatever you want um, okay so don't worry about it if it's something else you can just you just follow the exact same steps and you are good to go okay there we go we have in now made it so that way when we compile this script it's going to install that file into it and then when the person or it's going to copy that file into that that uh, exe and then when they run it for the first time it's going to first create that directory because that directory isn't going to exist on their computer and then it's going to install that image the next thing we're going to do is one last parameter and the last parameter is where is whether or not we want to override if that if it already exists so if I was to compile this and then run it I already have a subfolder that's called tut assets and I already have an image that's called press me PNG so I don't want to be prompted saying do I want to override it so what I do is I just put a one here and it means just override it without prompting me okay and that's it so now if I have 10 images I just go through it and do 10 of these and and that's it so let's go ahead and save this we'll run it it's the same as it was before now let's go ahead and actually compile this script and upload it onto a website 
so let me go to the folder so here we go we have my this is my project this is everything that's in my project the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the script and I'm going to go up near the top and hit compile script now if you don't have this option to compile script it's because you have a different version of auto hotkey so what or you didn't um, I think when you get it there is in the options of what you want to include with it it's the ability to compile script so you might have to reinstall auto hotkey if you don't have the option to compile a script but it's easy enough to fix okay so I'm gonna hit compile script and then I'm gonna give it a couple seconds depending on the size of it it can take my computer like a minute for larger projects or a couple anywhere just a couple of seconds on other ones okay there we go now I'll just wait for the image to actually fix itself while I'm okay there we go now to test to make sure that this is going to work properly on the person who downloads this computer what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this from here before I run it I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to create another folder that I'm going to immediately toss out I'm going to call this D2 dummy 2 okay and I'm going to paste that exe into here actually I should have just got a copy of it right because now I'm gonna to have to compile it again if I don't do that okay so the person just installed it onto their computer it's the first time they're running right now there is no none of that subfolder that, that has the assets etc so let's just double click this to run it there it goes it works properly and it creates the subfolder with our assets and inside of that it has our assets and that is it okay the last thing I will cover is uploading it I mean you probably already know this but I'll go over it anyways um, the site that I you started using a little while ago is mega uploads or something like that I don't know its exact name so I'll just go and launch that right so I made an account on mega and then it brings me to my home page and up here it gives me the option to file upload so I'm going to click on that and then I'm gonna find where I had placed that that uh, folder which was called dummy or d2 that has the exe in it d2 I'm gonna click on this guy and there we go now it'll tell me how long it's gonna take etc GUI mini tut number 26 okay now if I look here somewhere it should be there okay there it is so I'm gonna right click on that and then go to get link copy the link and now I can share the link with anyone who wants it okay that's it for this tutorial be sure to hit that like button and I will see you guys on the next one which will cover a topic to be named at a later date